next chapter that we will discuss is nuclei and in this lecture we will discuss composition of the nucleus atomic masses isotopes isobars and isotones size of nucleus and the nuclear forces so first we start with composition of the nucleus as we know that atom is composed of the particles like protons neutrons and electrons protons are positively charged particles neutrons are neutral and electrons are negatively charged particles protons in electric field experience the electric force similarly electrons also experience the electric force but uh, neutrons being neutral they do not experience any electrical force similarly in magnetic field also proton and electron will be experiencing the force because of their charge but neutron will be moving undivided being the neutral if we check the structure of the atom atom consist a small nucleus at the center and out of this center there are the shells up to infinity the nucleus which is at the center it consists total mass plus total positive charge that means nucleus contains the total number of protons and neutrons while the shells these outer orbits are the shells or orbits this contains electrons electrons moves in these orbits without radiating any energy because these are the stable orbits as per the bohr concept where the circumference 2 pi r is equal to the integral multiple of the wave associated with the particle or we can say de broglie wavelength nucleus has protons and neutrons protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral if we check the masses of the protons and neutrons the mass of the proton is 1.00727 unit or atomic mass unit similarly the mass of neutron is 1.00866 unit in kilogram we can write the mass of the proton is 1.67262 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram which is very small similarly mass of the neutron is 1.67 49 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg where one unit or one atomic mass unit this atomic mass unit is the mass of the 1/12th of the mass of the c12 carbon atom and in kilogram this value is 1.660539 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg so from the masses of proton and neutron we can conclude that mass of neutron is slightly greater than the mass of proton this we have to remember because nucleus is very small if we check the radius of atom and radius of nucleus radius of atom is approximately 10 to the power minus 10 meter while the radius of the nucleus is 10 to the power minus 15 meter that means the nucleus is very small and this small region contains neutrons and protons and because protons are all positively charged so there will be a repulsive force between them so to hold the similar charged protons in the small region there exists a force that is called the nuclear 
force that are very strong in nature and that are short range. If we check the characteristics of the nuclear forces, these are short range forces. That means they act for a small range. They are attractive in nature. These are strongest force in nature. These are charge independent. That means they act equally on positively charged protons and neutral particles, neutrons. Symbolically, a nucleide is represented by Z X A. Here this is the nucleus. Z is atomic number of element or atom. This refers the number of protons in nucleus. A is mass number. It is equal to the number of protons plus number of neutrons in nucleus. This implies that number of neutrons equal to A minus Z. Combinedly, protons and neutrons are called nucleon because they reside in the nucleus. Depending on the number of protons and neutrons, nucleides can be division in three categories. These three categories are number one, isotops, isobars and isotons. In isotopes, atomic number that is Z is same but mass number that is A differs. That means isotopes refers the same element but their mass numbers are different. For example, 1H1, 1H2 and 1H3. These are the three isotopes of the hydrogen. Here Z equal to 1, 1, 1 in all three cases. Mass number A are 1, 2, 3. Therefore, number of the neutrons that is equal to A minus Z will be equal to 0, 1 and 2. So, these are the isotopes. Similarly, isobars are the those nucleides which have same mass number that is A, but different atomic number. That means isobars refers the different elements having the same mass number. For example, 1H3 and 2H3. These are the hydrogen and the helium nucleides which has same mass number that is 3 and 3 but different atomic number, these are 1 and 2 and number of neutrons which is A minus Z are 2 and 1. Isotons are those nucleides which have same number of neutrons but their atomic number are different. For example, 80-198 mercury and 79-197 gold. So here atomic number are different that is 80 and 79 but number of neutrons are 198 minus 80 that is equal to 118. Similarly in case of gold it is 197 minus 79 it is also 118.